Hey folks, John Bernakovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. Today we're taking a look at the Oregon State University Permaculture Design Course Report Template. And we're looking at the personal survey. We're going to take a look at how to mask an image and how to replace an image. We've done this once before, but this is now a little different because we've got a mask around the image and it creates a nice visually appealing mask around it. So instead of being a square, the image is actually a circle. So if you're on this slide, you'll be clicking on the image itself and on the top it'll say replace image. So if we click on that, upload from computer, I've downloaded an image, uh, a recent image of mine, and we're gonna upload. And immediately, if I we delete the text, there's a picture of me a couple days ago when I was surveying the property. Let's say for some reason we have an issue with this. What we can do is we can actually bring in that image. Now we can drag and drop like I'm doing here, or we can just insert it. There I am, big and larger than life. Now if we want to mask this, there's a little crop symbol up here. And if we click on the mask image beside it, which is the little triangle, and then go to shapes, we can mask this image, which is basically cutting this image into a shape, kind of like a cookie cutter. I'm going to take the circle. And there we go, I'm back into a circle. And now if you ever want to resize a photo and you want it to be in proportion to how it began, just hold the shift key. So here's the difference. I'm going to hold this and I'm going to go down and a little out and a little up and it's going to change its size a bit. It's going to move out of proportions. It's going to make me a little squashed. But if I hold the shift key, I can only size in relationship to the original dimensions. So that means it'll always stay the same. It'll just get smaller. And then I could take that and if I wanted to, I could put that over there. So we could delete this one, put this one over here. That's a little big. I'm going to hold shift again and then put this directly in center. Great, now I've got the image I'm looking for. So that's a way to mask images if you're putting in different uh, images that need to be masked and you'll see some examples like that further on. So that's an easy way to bring images in or to mask images.